<laughs> so we'll call them out now. <laughs> We've got four laps to be able to call them, so at least we have a little bit of time. Dimitrenkov, uh, it's going to be Williamstown with hip number one. Chessman, number two of Ballarat YCW. So too is Buckland of Ballarat YCW with number three. Lynch, independent, number four. Holditch, number five, independent. McGravy, Melbourne University, number six. Quirk, number seven, independent. Marshall, number eight. Olds of Variance. Mayhew, Sharp, independent with number nine. Cullen, number 10. Doncaster. Sanderson, independent, 11. Sanderson, independent, 12. Uh, a Aguiard of Collingwood, number 13. And Gay of Williamstown, number 14. So it looks like brothers, maybe a father and son. We'll have to wait and see. Scott Benedict is going to be the pacemaker here for the men's G mile. Whew. And that's a lot of names to say when you get it wrong. I'll tell you what. Yeah, you would have been close to 30 there, I reckon. <laughs> Probably over. So these boys are going to work their way through. And we'll see who our race leader is, I believe. It's going to be a Ballarat YCW athlete. We'll try and get the bib number or the hip number. It's getting dark now. And Mitchie's getting older, so the eyesight's not quite as good. We're going to have to need the young fellow and Isaac I to be able to lead us through. Cheeseman there, hip number two. And he's gone for it early on. He's not messing about, is he? So Cheeseman's going to do it solo. And sitting there behind him there is also Lynch, our independent athlete. So Rafael Nadal-inspired headband <laughs> for the Australian Open in second place. But he's going to have to do it behind Cheeseman, who's leading it out. 10, 15 metre lead. And he's under five-minute pace as well, which is pretty good. So he's definitely going for that, I think. So it looks like our pacemaker in third place, Scott Benedict, has run at 800 before this. So they've obviously just said, we don't need the pacemaker. We're going to set our own. Happy to see Cheeseman do it. I believe we have two pacemakers. I think that's Kennedy Chen in the black cap there as well behind Benedict. There we go. The double pacemaking job, and yet two people are still ahead of it. So these boys moving through, but Cheeseman, I mean, he looks, he looks pretty strong. He's got about a 15-metre lead. Behind him there is going to be Lynch. And then our two pacemakers, and then back from that, a further 40 metres behind, I would say, these race leaders is our next competitor. And so I believe that's Mayhew Sharp. So Chessman, Cheeseman, however you want to say it, 2.33 on the clock right now. He's about 20 metres ahead of Lynch. Behind them there, yep, our two pacemakers. So they're going to try and lead these boys through, and it's Holditch who's actually sitting there in third place. With number 12 on the, sh uh, the hip as well is Sanderson. And behind him is actually his son in Sanderson as well. So the father-son combo. Bit of a family battle going on there. Yeah. And that'd be a bit of beef in the household, you imagine. Or a bit of oh, pride, yeah, who's going to win that? There's a bit of beef going between me and my dad. He's a marathon man, so <laughs> I don't really race him, so I can only imagine the beef in this household. There will be no Maccas on the way home if the son wins, I can guarantee <laughs> that. Chessman, Cheeseman. Still leading it. And I, I don't know if he's going to get caught with 600 metres to go. It's going to take a bit of work from our number four, Lynch. Still a bit of a pack there at the back of the field there. Got the Mornington boy at the back of that. But it's still a pretty good group there, so hopefully they can work together and run a solid time. Yeah, they are forming up nice. So you got, well, you got about five, six boys there. I think we've just seen the... Uh, the son maybe move around the dad as well in this battle of hip number 11 and 12. But with one lap to go, right here, Cheeseman's done all of the work. 3.51 on the clock. Now starting to move as Lynch. So Lynch has started to peg back that lead. We still have our pacemaker or one of our pacemakers and Scott Benedict is still running along. I think they're going to step off now. Maybe right, maybe wrong. And it's a rare circumstance that I am correct. So right now, Cheeseman still leading out at the front. Lynch behind him there. We do have Cullen leading from there. And it is is our younger Sanderson as well, leading out the older Sanderson. So the young fella is going to take it to the old fella on the back straight. We see a change in the lead. It's going to be Lynch who's going to lead out Cheeseman. So we'll see if Cheeseman can hold on. He's done a lot of work by himself. He has 4.28 on the clock. So these boys, look, they might just rock under, but probably over that five-minute mark. So Lynch... 150 metres to go. Cheeseman, 10 metres behind now. Done, but not out. We're going to have to wait and see if he's got anything left in him, but I think it's going to be Lynch who's going to take this out as he rounds the home turn now. Lynch it is, our independent athlete. One of about five of them is going to be the one to take out this men's G, not F, mile race. 
And so it is going to be Lynch now, who's going to take it down as we tick just over five minutes. 5.03 on the clock for Lynch. Fantastic racing. Cheeseman now as well going to come through for second with 5.07 on the clock. And it's going to be Lynch, who is the winner of your men's G-Mile event here at the Victorian Miles Club. And I believe it's Cullen there, finishing strong. Looks like he's about to be uh, kicked by, I think it's McGrave there, and he's finishing strong. So it's a good battle here for the third place, and it's going to be Cullen who gets it.